Good morning, my magnificent mathematicians. I'm super excited to be with you this morning. We are gonna have so much fun today learning more about math and growing our brains. This morning, we're gonna talk about factoring. Factoring is a math operation that involves one number. Well, that's kind of weird, right? I mean, usually when we see a math problem, it starts with at least two numbers, but factoring is like working backwards. You start with one number and then you end up with two or more answers. So we can think of factoring kind of like backwards multiplication. Now, when we multiply, we take two numbers, we multiply them together and we get an answer. When we factor, we start with that answer and then we try to figure out what two numbers were multiplied together to get there. Let's look over here at our multiplication chart for an example. Let's say that you're asked to factor the number 12. Okay, so one strategy is to look at your multiplication chart and see what numbers could have been multiplied together to get 12. Let's look together and see. Okay, well, we know the obvious answer, right? One times 12 gives us 12. But where else can we look and find a 12 on the table? Hmm, there's one, two, times six gives me 12. Let's keep looking because I know there's one more. Hmm, I, oh, there's a 12. Three times four equals 12. So the factors of 12 that we found are one, two, three, four, six, and 12. We factor when we figure out what numbers multiply together to get that number. Factoring's a really good skill to have. Now, you're gonna have to trust me on this, but I've taught middle school and high school students, and I promise you, factoring will be a big help when you're older and you're learning more complicated math concepts. Let's practice factoring by looking at another number. Okay, what if we factor 18? Let's look at a multiplication table together. We always know the first obvious set of factors, the number itself and the number one. So we have one times 18 equals 18. Hmm, now where else do you see 18 on that table? Oh, what about two times nine equals 18? Let's keep looking. Three times six equals 18. Okay, so we found out that the factors of 18 are one, two, three, six, nine, and 18. Okay, I wanna show you another way to factor. Now, the first step is to take the number that you've been asked to factor and half it. Let's say that we were asked to factor the number 16. If we halved 16, we would get eight and eight. So you can create a number line that runs from one all the way up to that halfway point, eight. Now, we will look at that number line and we'll check to see if those numbers divide evenly into the number that we're factoring, which is 16. If that number on the number line divides evenly into 16, then we know we found a factor. Okay, now remember, the first two are so obvious. Let's circle the one. One is always a factor of a whole number because one will always divide evenly into a whole number. Next on the number line is two. Let's see if two divides evenly into 16. To find that out, let's divide. 16 divided by two equals eight. It did, it divided evenly. So we have two more factors, two and eight. Let's circle those numbers on our number line. Okay, let's move on up to three. Let's see if three divides evenly. 16 divided by three equals 5.3 repeating. So three is definitely not a factor. Let's cross that one out. Okay, what about four? 16 divided by four equals four. It divided evenly, so four is a factor. Let's circle that number two. What about five? 16 divided by five equals 3.2. It doesn't divide evenly because there's a decimal in the answer. So five's not a factor, let's cross it out. 
Okay, what about six? 16 divided by six equals 2.6 repeating. It doesn't divide evenly, so it's not a factor. We have one more number left to check, seven. 16 divided by seven equals 2.286. It didn't divide evenly, so it's not a factor. Cross it out. Let's look back at the number line and see all of our factors of 16. One, two, four, eight, and 16. Great job learning how to factor today, my magnificent mathematicians. I personally think factoring is really fun. It's kind of like taking a puzzle apart and figuring out the pieces. Okay, I hope you have an amazing day today. Thanks for joining me on Rise and Shine, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.